First is figure out what are the different channels that the shayateen will use to get to us. How are they you collaborating with our nafs? What appetites are they exploiting that we have? And how can we prevent them from exploiting those appetites? Ramadan is the month of controlling our appetites and it's on the way. So we start coming up with that plan now. How can we prevent them from exploiting our anger? How do we reduce that over time? We should spend time studying ways to reduce our anger, taking, if we have an immense anger issue, taking the requisite courses that we need so that shaitan doesn't use that as a trick to try and mess us up. And then, third, is protecting ourselves against other people, against the shayateen of other people, rather. When people are trying, when issues and relationships start to happen, just know that it's not just you two that there's somebody else in the mix and that we have to spend time strengthening relationships and protecting ourselves so that the weakness cannot go and mess up that relationship. And finally, preparing ourselves for this onslaught that's happening in this time that we live in, this onslaught that's happening with media today, this onslaught that's happening and affecting our eyes and our ears and our hearts. And it may not affect us, but it's definitely affecting our children. It's definitely affecting the next generation. And until we control it at the older generations, it's going to get more and more and more difficult to control it at the younger generations. And so we need to come up with a plan, come up with a battle plan for how are you gonna fight shaitan. Dhikr is the fortress of the Muslim, the first thing that we can do fix our prayers, increase our dhikr that we, can, that, that we do, because it will be a fortress against you and the shayateen coming to you. Immediately when anger strikes, a'udhu billah min shaitan rajim Immediately when you notice an issue or beef coming between you and somebody else, a'udhu billah min shaitan rajim And then increase the amount of dhikr that we're generally doing. And then monitor ourselves. What is the exposure that's coming to our eyes and to our ears and to our hearts? How can we limit that? How can we reduce it? One hour a day, two hours a day, eventually cut it off entirely if that's what suits you. But be aware that an onslaught is happening against you and your hearts. An onslaught is happening against our community, regularly coming from the devil from multiple locations. You're being bombarded and we are not playing defense. And so we have to figure out a way. We have to regularly be on guard, protect ourselves, and finally turn to Allah immensely. And when we're struggling, ask Allah, Ya Allah, assist me in this problem. Help me beat. You created him. You created the shayateen. You are the one who can defeat him. And ask Allah. And Allah says, the one who relies on him, he will give them a way out. That whoever relies on Allah, he gives them an exit strategy. So we should never worry. Allah will give us an exit strategy and a plan. And he will be our guard against the shayateen. But first, we have to spend our efforts in trying. In Allah.